Good morning, this is Pastor Mike from Twin Peaks Community Church. A couple of days ago, I shared with you this acrostic, follow in his steps. And I suggested that we might find five ways to follow in his steps using the letters S-T-E-P-S. Now the truth is, if we follow Jesus or claim to be followers of Jesus, we must be obedient to him. Take a look at what we read in 1 John 2.6. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Boy, we should be walking in his steps. We should be walking as Jesus walked, living as Jesus lived. What exactly does that mean? What does that look like? Well, yesterday I suggested one way that we should be like Jesus is in our speech. I suggested that we should speak like Jesus that our speech should be seasoned with grace, that we should always speak the truth, but do it in love. And our words should reflect our relationship with Christ. And the reality is, is Christ wants to speak through us if we will surrender our speech to him. Today we come to the second letter, that's the letter T. Did you come up with a word for the letter T that would fit this acrostic? Now, Barb suggested, teach like Jesus. Now, that's a good one, Barb. Jesus was the master teacher. He taught with divine authority, yet he had simple clarity. He used parables and illustrations that people loved to hear him. We, too, need to teach the truths of God with authority and with clarity. That's a good balance to have. Barb, thank you for that suggestion, but I chose a different word for that letter, and that is the letter... T for think like Christ. Now, David, you came up with that same word, so great minds think alike. In what ways can we learn to think like Christ? You know, I found a scripture that I think is appropriate, and that's this one. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Some translations use mind, Others use the word attitude. Let this attitude be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We should have the same mind as Christ, the same attitude. We should think like Christ. What was Christ's mindset? What was his attitude? Well, in the context of this passage here in Philippians 2, it was the attitude of humility. That he gave up his rightful place as God in heaven, humbled himself and became a man and lived among us and died on the cross for us. So the mindset of Christ or the thoughts of Christ is that of humility, of compassion, of service, of kindness, generosity, of sacrifice. But most of all, his was an attitude of love. When Christ thinks of us, he thinks of us with a loving heart. Do we have the mind of Christ? Do we have the same attitude as Christ? towards the lost. What motivated Jesus should motivate us, a love for God and a love for people. Now I want to close today's talk with one of my favorite passages reminding us of how we should think. It's out of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 and it's a list so we'll read it twice. Let's take a look at this. Finally brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, whatever is excellent or praiseworthy, think on these things. Think on these things. That's a fabulous statement. Are you thinking on things that are true and noble and right and pure, lovely, admirable, excellent and praiseworthy? That's what we should let our minds dwell on. If we do this, I'm confident we will have the mind of Christ. Let's pause and let's surrender our minds and our thoughts to the Lord Jesus now. Father, thank you again that we have this clear passage about the things we should think about. Lord, help us to think more like Christ. Help us to speak more like Christ. Help us to be more like Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's review the acrostic we've got so far. Followers of Jesus, following in his steps, involves speaking like Christ, 
and thinking like Christ. Now we're to the letter E. So tomorrow we'll come up with another word that ties in with this acrostic. Maybe you've got a word that you'd like to suggest. Shoot me an email, a note, and let me think about your words. May God richly bless you until we meet again.